This is uh, Elian Donan Castle in Argyllan Butte and the sunset. So I've made wet the board, wet the paper both sides, and we're going to start with a little just neat uh, cadmium yellow pale. So cadmium yellow pale sort of streaking through here behind the castle. Uh, this is quite a quite a bright sunset. Um, with an orange pink as well, so this is permanent rose and cadmium yellow streaking through here. All the time this is drying off a bit, I'm delaying, waiting for it to dry, waiting for the paper to soak in the water. So there's a little bit of permanent rose and less cadmium yellow, much more permanent rose. Quite a fast movement of that brush to make a streak. And another fast movement of the brush across the page. So there is blue higher up and blue lower down, but higher up there is blue Ultramarine and cerulean blue mixture. So this is close to twilight and therefore quite dark colours higher up. A little bit lighter lower down. So the colours that follow, obviously water is reflecting sky and therefore the water is, um, I think, a mixture of permanent rose and cadmium yellow. I'm going to put on there all over this lower part of the image. I might just take it up into the rocks as well, into the... So this is underpainting for later, gives a, a tone to whatever colours coming on top, gives a heat to it too. Cadmium yellow, permanent rose. Use the brush on its side more. So this has started to dry down here. Try and catch that before it does. Much more pinkish colour coming in from the left. That is a very strong colour. And we have to soften it a bit. Let's have a look at the sky for a moment. And permanent rose, almost neat permanent rose. Very little cadmium yellow, much more concentrated. So there is a cloud that comes across like that. And a few more wispy clouds. There's a much larger cloud higher up, permanent rose and little cadmium yellow. When that's mixed on the surface with the blue it's going to make a violet magenta mix. That's what's happening in that corner. It's a little bit curly there, a little bit different. 
So all the while this is drying, the colour is going to spread less. And I've now got permanent rose and ultramarine. Some cigar-like clouds. Dark ones. Top edge of that. Permanent rose and ultramarine, less water. The top of this glide. So these clouds are lit from underneath, typically with the sunset. So you've got darkness on the top of the cloud. Light underneath. So permanent rose and ultramarine. This is really quite dark here. A little bit of cerulean blue in the mix. I'm going to leave a gap there. Little gaps here. Those are really quite dark, and that's the secret of that is so little water in the mix. Get that to go darker and still spread a little bit into wet. All these colours will dry. Um, lighter eventually I don't know if this is dried off or not but there's a little trace of orangey paint just down here Yeah, there's a sort of glow to the sky with this pink orange. Let's see if I can make that just a little bit softer there. Obviously, watercolour does tend to do its own thing as well. Orange there. So that's the focus of light and contrast. The sky is darker at the margins here, darker at these margins, left and right. Let me use a soft natural fibre brush to redistribute or blur and yeah, let that dry come back to it when it's completely dry